Hello Explorers, welcome back. So this is going to be the budgeting for week one, paycheck one of February. This is technically the second half of our last January paycheck. Sorry, I'm just going to push my sleeves up. And let's just get right into this. So we are working with $800 today. And... So the total is still going to be 800 because we only have one income on this. For HOA and trash, I am budgeting $42, which means since I already put 42 in last week, we now have 84 out of the 201 that we need for the quarter because HOA and trash are paid quarterly. For my mortgage, I'm budgeting 300. And again, I put in 300 last week, so that means we should have 600 out of the 2302 that we need for the month. Um, I did change my car insurance from Geico to Progressive, and we are budgeting 25 towards that monthly payment since it's not due until March now, which means we have 25 out of the 99 total that we need. So the total of all of these is $367, which leaves us with, I did not put the math on this. Oh, fun. Okay. So, um, oh, yes, I did. Okay which leaves us with $433 left after those bills. Okay, let's go straight over to sinking funds. And for Lennox's savings, she's getting the regular $2. Wrigley savings is getting $12 because I forgot to put 10 in the other day. Um, Lennox's birthday is getting 15 this week. We're going to go down to medical. Medical is also getting 15. Our dog, Sidari, is finally getting something because she's going to need food soon. So she's getting 10. And then bill savings is getting $4. This should total up to be $58, leaving us $375 left. So now we're going to go over to our cash envelopes. And for these, I am putting 35 towards gas. We're going to try and only do 200 in groceries this week because we really need to cut down on how much we're spending on groceries. Takeout is not getting anything. Mom and dad, we are each getting $10. Home needs is getting five. Personal care is getting 15. And this should Add up to $275, leaving us with $100 left. Um, my sister is getting $30, which should leave me at $2,850 remaining towards her um, because that is considered a debt, which means the total is still $30, and that leaves us with $70 left. So for the month, the February monthly challenge, I have allocated $20. And for the 100 envelopes, we're going to do number 50. So that adds up to the $70 that we had remaining, which means we have nothing left, which is exactly what we want. So we can come back up here. We have nothing left because this is a zero base budget, which means every dollar is accounted for. Every dollar has a place, so we want to have zero after we've allocated everything. So that is it for budgeting for this paycheck, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I Let me know if you enjoy the budget with me. Um, the, when I watch Cash Stuffers, budget with me's are not really my favorite thing to watch. I tend to skip over them. Um, so if, if you guys don't enjoy them, I certainly don't need to film this part. If you do, I will continue to film them, um, but you guys let me know.
And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And we're going to get right into cash stuffing this in the next video. Bye.